Yo, what is up you guys and welcome back to the channel. So I got access, early access to Void uh, through the content creators program. He'll be leaving my account next week. But meanwhile, I'd like to present some of the interesting things that Void brings to the table. So if you're the Void, once you get six um, unique debuffs, um, it turns to 120% attack, uh, passive fury, which is nice. Uh, here is uh, intimidating presence debuffs. Petrify is the one that is having the biggest impact on how I view him. Um, but besides that, basically spam SP1. Um, I, I typically don't use the SP2 or the SP3. I think SP1 spam is going to be the way. Anyways, uh, let's get onto the gameplay. That way you guys can see um, some of the interesting interactions with this Petrify debuff. Alright, so magic. Um, this magic has, uh, I'm not sure if it's level 4 or level 5 uh, Mystic Dispersion. Um, but with the Petrify debuff, uh, once you get two stacks, uh, it will reduce magics um, any kind of heal ability down to zero but because I have um, the despair mastery she'll actually be losing health with two stacks of petrify uh, because it's actually additive so as you can see um, the degen is just taking away at her health and then uh, I push her to two bars and she gets Limbo and I'm taking a lot of damage but check it out as soon as the Limbo expires it actually bombs herself and uh, she kills herself with her own Limbo alright so the next interesting interaction with Petrify is with uh, any kind of power gain uh, that isn't from physical or uh, from basic attacks or special attacks any kind of power gain that is passive uh, Void actually counters it So you can see right now he's gaining his usual power gain which uh, is really annoying in Lion's War and in and also in AQ as the mini boss but with just one Petrify debuff, it's so noticeable how low his uh, uh, power gain is. Just with one, and with two, his power gain is pretty much gone. And as you can see, no more willpower for him because I have two stacks. This degeneration that he has on it is just—it's really dwindling him down too. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really liking Void. I'm thinking of going for him for, as a five star, probably taking him up to rank 455. Uh, all right, so this next fight is with Loki and Uncollected. This Loki has Bane. That's uh, the reason why I don't initially attack because I want to have um, at least one or two debuffs before I attack him. That way, uh, I don't have to wait so much for uh, Petrify. So that is one of the problems is that because it is RNG, uh, it's possible to not get petrified until the fifth fifth uh, debuff. But as everybody knows, Loki is probably one of the most annoying special attacks to avoid. Uh, evade because of his passive power gain to uh, one bar um, special attack um, but you'll see in a little bit that even though there's no power gain buff it gets countered by petrify with three or four stacks of petrify so as you see I have one and you can actually see his power gain is going down and once I get two stacks He's pretty much power locked. So the way I see it is 
Um, he has like a Spectre type of interaction with Regen and Power Gain. Now, how would this be applicable? Well, we've got Buffet nodes in Alliance 4. We've got annoying uh, Alliance 4 defenders that typically are Mystic. Um, so the way I see it is that uh, not only will he have class advantage uh, against some of these uh, more annoying um, uh, matchups, but also I know no 24. Uh, usually you'll see an Ultron, but um, along with Petrify, he can also put in a Dexterity debuff, uh, which would reduce Evade by 30% per stack. Um, considering it's usually an Ultron on there, or Green Goblin that uh, is typically on there. Um, basically, a, an actual hard counter. So as you can see, the three unique buffs, uh, you got uh, the Dexterity one, you got the Fatigue one, and then you also have the last one which is Petrify. Uh, the Fatigue one actually you can also use against Mordo uh, if you wanted to counter him. As you guys saw there, 37 hits on Buffet, pretty fast kill. Uh, on masochism, it's a little bit tougher because of the timer. Sometimes it doesn't match up. Um, but what you can do is you can try and parry them, so that way uh, the parry gets shrugged off instead of uh, one of your intimidate presence or uh, fear of the void. So I believe in 5.2.4 it's 5% health, or maybe it was 7%, uh, but I think in Alliance 4 it's 10%, I'm not completely sure. So it'll be a lot more noticeable in Alliance 4, um, especially against regen champs. Not sure about you guys, but I'm really hyped up for Void. Uh, I like his, I love his animations. His dashback feels so smooth. Um, and it's just, I don't know, everything. I, I love everything about this champ so far. Not to mention that he gets that 120% attack boost once you have uh, Fear of the Void. But anyways, guys, that'll be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.